Welcome to another of Let's Play Farming Simulator 2013 on the Bayern Farm. Alright, we got a couple things going on today. Let's hop into our JCB here. Ah, so currently our combine is harvesting, and in the end I wasn't, I didn't quite, I think it was a conflict between two mods, and I, I have a couple mods I didn't put back in, and I, that seemed to have solved the problem, but... So we're back to normal, which is good. It was a, just a mod thing, it looks like, because before we couldn't even get, we couldn't even do one pass, if you recall from last episode, and this thing would be just full. Uh, but it's better now, so this is good. All right, uh, this guy has apparently finished, but the grass has grown a little bit too. I must have accelerated time a little bit there. Hmm. I don't remember. All right, whatever. We'll uh, we'll collect the grass anyways. Might as well. It's sitting there at this point in time, so there's no point in uh, getting rid of it. All right. Uh, let's. See. We should be able to get through here. Perfect. Let's do a little bit of a U-turn, and then we'll grab our wind roller here. Perfect. And what we're gonna do today is uh, we got a, we got the canola ooh, canola harvest going on, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and start using that first field, uh, that second field that we picked up finally, um, that we bought that we bought last episode. Um, so we're gonna do that today. Let me just refill this tractor quickly here. And while they're doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and grab the JCB here. And because I have already uh, outlined the course like I did last time, um, yeah, I guess we'll start off seeding it, why not? Now, the question is, can I plant anything? Pigs, pigs are coming up again. Actually, we'll have some pigs in 23 hours, actually. Don't have any corn. Doing canola right now. Um, can't do soybeans. I don't know why that always comes up. Wheat. Uh, yeah, sure. Let's do wheat. So what we're gonna do is let's just uh, let's take a quick peek here. Uh, I'm looking for F38. I think fill seed is the one we want. Let's just load that up and see where it actually takes us. Seed fuel, oh no, here it is. Seed fuel version two. All right, good, that's the one we're looking for. All right, so we need F39 outline. Now which one is which? Uh, that's not the right one. We really need to rename that, that's F38. Alright, and let's just reset that. It must be the second one then. No, is that the one I just did again? First one. No, that's definitely that one right there. How strange. Because we're looking for. Maybe it's saved exactly the same course. Ooh, that would be a little annoying. That's that, and hmm, strange. I don't know. It, it never gives you the overwrite message, so maybe it. Uh, maybe those are both the same one. Weird. All right. Well, we can do this again. It's not a big problem. <laughs> uh, I'm going to delete these two. I could have sworn I did it because that definitely starts there. So let's delete the first one. And this second one starts there as well. Hmm, weird. Let's delete that as well. And this is actually 38. Let me check this now. I'm getting this. Uh, yes, that's field 38. There we go. And this one should be that. Okay, good. Now. Let's just do this again, I guess. Oh, huh, that's strange. I guess uh, what might have must have happened is I must have named the uh, the other field thirty nine initially or something like that. So, and that caused the problem. So, 
Uh, we're gonna start at this corner. We're gonna go this way. Because this way is easier to line up, apparently. Alright. That looks good. Perfect. Ah, uh, oh well. Anyways, we're gonna do this go around here and outline the field once again. And I'm gonna give it a good, generous berth here so I don't, uh, so we don't miss any. That's what, I, what it boils down to. Uh, I finally got around to testing out uh, live streaming the other day, um, and I was able to get it to work properly, so uh, there may be some live streaming in the future for us here. Um, I was using a piece of software called Open Broadcast Software, uh, which is a free version of uh, free live streaming software. Um, so I used that, and it worked. I checked it out. I watched my own stream, which was kind of funny. Um, and it worked perfectly fine, which is excellent. So, like I said, there may be some live streaming in the future. Uh, definitely not this weekend, because I'm not around this weekend coming up, or this probably be... Well, I'm recording this on... What day is it today? It's February 27th. Sorry, that's my watch. February 27th today, um, and I'm away the forthcoming weekend, which will be the 1st and 2nd of March, I guess. Um... So, if you watch this after that time, then you'll know I'll be away. Alright, so this one is F39 outline. I'm just going to do this, just so I know. Alright, there we go. Alright, so let's just reset, and then load that up again. Sometimes it helps to do that, um, just to verify the right uh, that you have the right course. 11.5... Uh, I want to start in the, what is the southeast corner now? Yes. Southeast, and we want it to head north. Do you want to turn the first point? Sure. Headland before. Generate course, and then we're looking for uh, seed and fuel version 2. And this will be F39 seed 11.5 meters. Excellent. Let's just tag along for a second to make sure it does work as it's intended to. Uh, Alright, so... Let's start off the first course. First waypoint here. Let's just see where it goes. Is it going to be able to turn around? Oh, it looks like it. That's not so bad. Yeah, anyways, uh, I did get the live streaming to work properly, so I, uh, I'm going to try and do some live stream at some point in the future. And we'll see how that goes, so. We're well, gonna do it that way. Alright. Is that a little fast? No, that's not that fast. Alright, that doesn't look too bad actually. Still missed that little corner. Go figure. Yeah, so let's, we do might I might do a little bit of live stream in the near future. Uh, if you guys are interested in that, let me know. Leave a comment below if you're interested in me doing some live streaming. So I don't know. I've never done any live stream before, so I don't know what to expect. I, I guess the big difference is I'll be able to interact with you live as opposed to uh, through the comments after the fact, which I think is, would be pretty cool actually. Being able to say, "Hey, Craft Farms, how's it going today?" and then you can answer right away, or it's like, "Hey, thanks, Long Haul, how you doing today?" or "I, I yes, or Russell." There you go. I can remember that now. Uh, Russell, how you doing, buddy? Uh, so stuff like that, and that'll be the cool thing about it, um, as opposed to uh, after the fact in the comments sort of idea. So that'll be the nice thing in that situation, at least. So yeah, kind of looking forward to it to give it a go and see how it, how it works out. I know a lot of people do uh, a fair bit of live streaming actually, but I can't say I've done much live streaming um, for whatever reason. It just uh, hasn't been something that. Um, I've gotten into, I guess, but I'm going to give it a go and see how it is. Uh, as I mentioned before, I originally was thinking about uh, purchasing the live streaming feature on my current software that I use right now, um, but I don't want to drop the cash on something if I don't know if it's going to be worth it or not, so that's why I'm just testing the waters a little bit first before I get into that, uh, into that foray. That's a fancy word. Jeez. All right, so he looks like he's doing all right. I'm just gonna wait one more time. Uh, wait till he starts doing the um, 
the pass is going up, up in, uh, north and south of the, the field here just to ensure that it is working as intended. And it looks like our combine is doing all right now. Not getting nearly as much, although we did get quite a bit of uh, canola. 65,000 canola? Yeah, that's a crazy amount of canola uh, from this field. So I figured out the problem. Uh, it's working now, so before he wouldn't, that tractor over there would not have been able to just to sit there and wait uh, because we just were getting a crazy amount of um, of canola, but it's, everything is good now, apparently, so alright, let's see what he does alright, I'm pretty sure I said it so it was going uh, nope, apparently I did not send it going west ah that is not what I originally intended to do. Well, let me just delete that course because I don't want him to do that. <laughs> That's for sure. All right, one more time. Outline, heading north. Turn to the first point. Jeez. This is what happens, you get talking, I guess. All right, uh, there we go. Now save, F39, seed 11.5 meters, V2. I don't know why I always change it to version 2 or version 3. Just a habit, I guess. It just allows me to uh, keep track of whether I've uh, done something or not. Uh, nearest point. Let's see where he goes here. He should... What the heck was that? Oh, goodness me. Alright, let's, uh, let's try this. This is always the, the funny thing with course play when you initially start doing messing around with it. Um, it uh, doesn't work the way you want it to. I suppose this feels small enough I could just do it myself, but when I want to walk away from the computer, for example, why is he going that way? Maybe because... Oh, I see why. Okay. I see what it is. It's because this this pass right here would be a heading north pass as opposed to a heading south path. Oh, wh why is he turning around this time? Is he going to try and back up? Yes, he is. See, this is what, uh, I don't know. <laughs> this is always the most ridiculous thing to watch. It's like, hey, look at that go. And then it does this little little thing, and eventually it'll stop and just drive forward. It's I don't understand it. Oh, there. He's uh, almost getting ready to stop and move forward. Now, see, there he goes. And now he just <laughs> goes forward. He's like, I'm done. I'm good. I got to the place where I need to be. I don't know. Never made sense to me. Alright, this seems to be the correct way now. Yeah. So I guess that first pass is a, uh, a, a heading north in the field pass, and that's why he didn't want to do what I wanted him to do. Eh, that happens. Alright, uh, what else we got going on the farm today? Uh, I w we have $50,000 right now, and I have been considering doing a little bit of corn, uh, because we haven't done any corn yet at all. Now, that does mean we would have to get a corn header of some sorts. Uh, this corn header is, is a six row corn header, I think it is, one, two, three, four, six, I think so it is. A corn header is six, uh, the class 675. It is 30 grand though. Uh, I don't know how much corn actually pays on this map. Let's just take a quick peek. 288. Uh, so it's relatively close to wheat, actually. But we would need to buy a new header, so I don't know. We'll see. Let me know if you guys think we should do a little bit of corn. I, we haven't done any corn yet, so let me know if you guys are interested in that. I'm just going to turn him around so he, does, he gets this pass here. It's going to bother me. There we go. Now that does mean he's going to go over the same thing again, but I'm not too worried about this. No, uh, okay. Hmm, he did miss a little bit there. Interesting. Oh well. Maybe I'll just do this. And we'll see what happens. He'll go back and do his little thing there. And then we'll have that done. I'm just, um, uh, that's what I'm going to do the whole field. I want to make sure that course does the whole field. Um, because if you miss a little bit, it's not cool. Oh, 
thought he was moving really slow there for a second. Almost finished this field here. Canola is almost ready, or almost finished, I guess. Uh, got our combine. Um, the other thing I was thinking about doing was... Where is it here? Da, 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 da. Um, where are you? Mowers. I was thinking about upgrading our mowers to a bigger mower. Now, that would mean we wouldn't be able to use our current tractor uh, that we usually use for mowing yet. Um, but I was thinking about you start getting into the backfield right there uh, of all the hay as well uh, because we haven't used that back one at all. Uh, but it is a possibility, but it is a bit of a undulating field, if you want to call it that. It's not very level, so... Uh, I'm not sure how that field would work for um, for hay. It's a little it's a little ridiculous just because the way it works. If you look, uh, let's go take a little run over there. We'll see. I'll show you what I'm talking about now. The problem with the mowers that uh, that were, I was thinking about getting is that it's the butterfly tarot mower, and uh, on this it's not too bad actually. On parts of this field, let's say, it might be a bit of a problem just because the way it moves around. But I don't think I've ever actually used uh, that particular thing on a hill like that. Mm. But it is quite a large field, so it could very well be worth it quite a bit. Uh, that would mean we would need to get a more powerful tractor, or I suppose we could use the JCB, but the JCB is kind of our workhorse right now. Uh, it does like all the work. So it does, for example, the fertilization and also does the seeding. So that could present a bit of a problem. Now, one of the other solutions would be to get another tractor. Uh, those might be a little over, a little, <laughs> a little overkill for the for the size of the farm we have. Uh, that could work. Um. 379 horsepower and uh, 240,000 hmm what other options do we have to that's a little expensive uh, this people don't like because it's so cheap and I can relate to that uh, the problem is our the mowers we're thinking about getting do need 200 horsepower could just get another JCB, but that's a little bit boring. This, ooh, that's 120% off right now. I don't think we could even get enough money to, uh, well, we do have canola, actually. Ooh. I don't think we'll make 100,000 from that, but uh, where's the other one? This one right here is 158. Why is this 158? That makes no sense doesn't have front link I guess that's the hmm, that's weird this one's uh, oh well uh, are there any other options we have with front linkage actually we do have this one right here which is only 90 grand which is 200 horsepower it's a John Deere though but it is 20% off right now which is good for us and then we have uh, these ones down here hmm that's only 60,000, and that's 296, no, it's this one I'm thinking of. That's 100, hmm, 240 horsepower. Let's go sell some canola and see how much money we end up with. Um, is there a great demand for pigs still? <laughs> I don't even know. Oh, man, uh, is there? No, oh, there is, okay, well. I'll set this guy on his way, I guess. Um, I didn't realize he had pigs in it still. Alright, so I guess we're gonna have to wait a little bit then. We're gonna have to wait a little bit and then we'll go from there basically. So it shouldn't take too long because it's uh it's gonna run right into these guys. Let's move them out of the way. Or move the truck out of the way at least. There we go. Perfect. Uh, so we're going to see how much money we actually get from that too. Because if they're in great demand, we have uh, 30, I think it was, 30 pigs in there, roughly. So, all right, let's wait for this guy to get a little bit closer. 
There we go, perfect. And unfortunately, this is going to fill up that gravity wagon awfully quickly. Oh well. Let's see how our JCB is doing. Did he actually miss anything? No, he is doing well now. He has not missed. He's doing his little fancy thing. So he did. It was just the uh, the way I had it set up. So he's gonna get everything now. So that's good. Where's this guy going? So. We could actually upgrade our gravity wagon now because he's kind of going. He seems to be going back and forth a lot. I've noticed. Uh, so we could actually upgrade to a bigger gravity wagon uh, or just a regular tipper. Uh, we did have this tipper, but it didn't work very nicely with what we had. That's for sure. Uh, so there are these options, of course. Uh, 160 horsepower. Actually, our class would not be powerful enough to. Uh, to pull those, actually. Because our class only has 158 horsepower. Wow. Hmm. Um, those do hold more. Uh, so does the cane trailer. The thing, it's funny, the thing I like the, the thing I don't like about these is this the fact um, they're just really big. <laughs> That's what it boils down to. These ones are really nice, but again, really big. And I don't like using really big one, really big uh, trailers on the field, you know, compaction and whatnot. So uh, that holds 16 tons for 10 grand. Hmm. Hmm. Because if we get anything in, I do. I, this is what I want to get, but we've gotten these before, so I'm trying to avoid those um, because. We've had them before. Uh, we could guess, could get one of these actually, our half pipe trailer, because this would actually, uh, uh, it's not really worth it actually, not for, not for silage at least. That's what I was thinking. Maybe we could use it for silage as well. Um, but the problem would be, we have a semi truck which would work. <laughs> so if we were to use this, it kind of be like, oh well, is it really worth it? All right, this guy. I'm gonna move him over here, and just wait for that class to come over here. I just had a thought. That class is only 150 horsepower, um, so we could actually sell the class, and that would probably give us enough money to get a more powerful tractor. Um, but it wouldn't be a class. That's the problem. Um, actually, maybe would it? How much money would we get from selling the class? Because we could just upgrade to a bigger class if we got enough money. So this would sell for 60,000, so that would put up to 120. And how much was that? Uh, how much was that big class? Xeron. 240,000. Mm, not sure if we would get enough money for that. Not sure so silly you got to sit there and wait for like a little tiny tiny bit of the canola to be done Jeez. hmm what to do with that I definitely I think we're gonna upgrade the class area that we have to something else um, just because it is getting to that time where 150 horsepower is just not enough if we want to get into slightly bigger equipment I just want small and more efficient and 200 is kind of like the nice range for a lot of stuff and then at 200 horsepower um i oops that's not what i want to do at 200 horsepower i feel comfortable that we could we could probably handle this uh zoom hammer with a 200 horsepower tractor as well um and uh well not the cedar but definitely the zoom hammer for 200 horsepower ah oh, man so many options. I should get a tractor I haven't gotten before. Because I I've gotten this and I didn't like it. I don't know why I have it I keep it, but it's here. Uh we've had this before. We've never had this this zero on, the five thousand. Um we've never gotten the Fent. Or this Fent. 
for that matter. Not in a Let's Play thing. Uh, I don't think so. These ones I just they don't work the way they don't work well with the way I play. Uh, is what it really boils down to. We've gotten a couple of these before. Hmm. We've gotten this before as well. We've never gotten one of these. Because uh, this would be able to pull everything as well. Which is, this one only has 185 horsepower. Yeah. Not going to work very well. And these ones are just ridiculous. Well, not ridiculous. They actually look pretty. They actually work fairly well. Hmm. What to get? A tractor? How about this? Let me know what you guys think. What tractor we should get um, next? Um, what tractor should we aim for? We could aim for these big classes, but we have had these classes. Uh, we've had this one, this one, and this one before. We have one of them right now, obviously. These big ones are probably just too big for the size of farm we have right now. I don't have anything in miscellaneous, do I? Randomly, at least. No tractors. Nope. No. Hmm. Yeah. So why don't you guys, how about this? Let me know what you guys think. Um, this guy's. Let me what you guys think what, which, what we should go to next. Uh, what we'll do right now is I'll sell. Uh, there's no great demand for canola coming up or anything, is there? Uh, da, 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 corn, pig, pig, no. Okay. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and sell a little bit of canola, or the, the canola we have right now. And then we'll see how much money we end up with. Are we going to be able to fit? Barely. Uh, I'm going to sell the canola we have right now. We'll see how much we end up with. Oh, I, they actually did touch. Oops. I didn't think they did. And we'll see how much money we end up with. And then, depending on how much money we end up with, make a couple decisions and then go from there. All right, wraps. We need a little bit of wraps. And I never put you... <laughs> I refilled them, but I never did anything else with them. Oh, goodness. I hate when that happens. I hate when that happens. All right, let's get this guy over here. Grass mow. We need him on grass rake. There it is. Grass rake. Grass windrow. Alright. So let's lower those down. And he should do his thing now. Perfect. Perfect. Alright. So I'm going to end the episode there for now, folks. Uh, let me know what you guys think. What we should do. Uh, what should be the next... Um, tractor we get. Um, let me think. When is this episode going live? I want to say it's going live next week sometime. So what I'll do is I'll wait. I'll wait until next week to try it uh, before I buy a tractor. That's what I'll do. And then we'll go from there. Because uh, I think this episode is going to go live next week. So we'll go from there. How does that sound? Anyways, actually what I'll do as well, now that I think about it, is I'll tweet out on... Why is he doing that? Oh, he's returned to the first point. That's why. Um, so what I'll do is also tweet out on Twitter. Um, and you guys can give your input there as well. So I'll do that right now so I don't forget. And then we'll go from there. All right. So what I'll do off camera is I'll seed this field and we'll fertilize both these fields. And then we'll get ready for the next harvest. All right. So my name is Ian Rops and this has been Farming Simulator 2013. And we're playing on the Bayern Farm. Catch you guys later.